One of the more frustrating situations in life is to be in a social setting but feel invisible. Maybe it's Friday night. But tonight I'll go out because it's Friday night. And you're spending time with your friends and everyone else seems to be having fun while you're questioning whether you even belong in this environment. Or maybe you're sitting at a coffee shop, reading your book or doing some work. You recognize a woman that you find interesting. But the next thought you have in your mind is, would she even know that I exist? If you ever felt invisible or uninteresting in social situations, in today's video, I'm going to share a four step process with you that helped me become more charismatic and stand out in conversations. But first, I want to give you some context. Growing up, I was the kid who would do homework in between classes in those breaks instead of socializing with people so that I could go home without homework and play basketball or video games. And at some point in my life, earlier on in high school, I quit playing basketball and put my efforts to just increasing my rank in League of Legends. So what happened during that time was I gained weight and eventually I ballooned up to 225 pounds. And I came at a point in my life where whenever I was in a social situation, my focus was on the internal, how overweight I felt and how I didn't think I had much to contribute to the conversation. So one of the problems I had when I got to college in the US after losing weight was part of me still felt like that fat kid in social situations. I wanted to say something, I wanted to stand out. I had this deep yearning to connect with people in my life, but in social situations, I just stayed quiet. And what I realized was the more I stayed quiet, the more uninteresting I felt. It wasn't until I learned this process that I'm about to share with you that I realized the biggest mistake I was making was putting my focus in the internal. So what we do when we're in a conversation and maybe we feel like we're a bit on the outside, we feel uninteresting, we feel invisible, is we start focusing on that story. So maybe we go, oh yeah, I feel invisible. This must be because um, I was never skilled socially. I was more skilled in engineering and math. Or this must be because, oh, when I was in fourth grade, this one thing happened and this situation reminds me of that, so I stay quiet. With every thought, feeling, or impulse, we have a story that comes with that thought. And the more we follow that line of story, the less we become in the present moment. So the first step of this four step process is when that story arises or even before it arises, when the thought of, oh, maybe I'm not as interesting as I thought arises and that takes you away from the present moment. When that happened to me, what I started doing was to go, never mind. It didn't matter if this idea was true or correct. No matter what it was, I could just go, never mind. And the second thing I did, the second part of the process was to relax my mind. So just like I could be kind of like having my muscle flexed and then contract my biceps, which may not be the best description because my biceps pretty much look the same. But imagine you're at the gym, right? And your muscles very relaxed and then your muscles very contracted. It looks different. It's the same thing with the inside of your skull. And usually, if you're working, you know, 40, 50, 60 hours a week, then you're used to having a lot of tension in your mind. So what you do in the second step is to relax that tension. Imagine relaxing the inside of your skull. And then the third step is to smile. It's not to smile like you're going to the dentist so you fake a smile or you ran into your ex-girlfriend on the street and you don't want to look insecure so you flash a smile. It's more a genuine smile. Like when you see a dog running around and you just feel this beautiful energy from the dog and that really touches your heart. So you smile 
in your mind, on your lips, in your heart, and in your eyes. And then lastly, you come back to the present moment. These are the four steps. Go never mind, relax, smile, and then come back. And when you do come back, here's what happens. Instead of you being gone in that story of I'm not interesting, I'm invisible, no one's paying attention and focusing on the internal, now you can put your focus back into the external world. What I realized when I started practicing this is the way to be visible to the outside world was through appreciating other people's visibility. Let me give you an example on this. Imagine the last time you were talking to someone and you really felt like they were listening. Instead of worrying about what they were going to eat later that day, what they were going to do at work, some person they had to text, they were fully there with you. And when they asked a question, you could feel they cared to know the answer. It wasn't just a generic question that they threw in there to keep the conversation going. So through this four-step process, what started happening for me was instead of being worried about me being invisible, I actually put my full focus onto the person speaking. And I let them shine in the conversation. I asked questions about what I was curious for. And because in social situations, I was one of the few people who were highly present, then eventually what started happening was people became curious about me. And this is how I went from being invisible to being someone who was interesting to other people that I met. Because a lot of us, even though we may feel uninteresting in a conversation, that does not mean we are actually uninteresting. It's just a fleeting feeling that we have. It's so funny because I coach so many people around social situations and it's usually the guys who are the most interesting, who have incredible jobs, very niche, interesting hobbies, who go to the gym, who are into self-development. They're the ones who feel the most uninteresting. But what they don't realize is that feeling doesn't need to define them. Which is why when that thought and that feeling arises, we can just go, never mind, relax, smile, and come back. And when you do come back, observe whoever else is in conversation. Or if this is someone you want to talk to, observe their energy. And then imagine sending good wishes to this person. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be at peace. As you're listening, you can keep these in your mind and you might get some warm sensations around your heart. If that happens, just keep radiating that to the person that you're listening to. And with that, what's going to happen is your level of presence in the conversation is going to increase. And without you having to change anything out about your outside communication, people will start taking notice. And then you will be someone that they would be interested in because you have taken interest in them. You know, a lot of people read books like How to Win Friends and Influence People. And they hear the advice of in order to be interesting, you have to be interested. But the way they implement it is only at a verbal level. Whereas here, we're implementing it at an energetic level where we're being interesting with our full body, with our full presence and not just through our words. And that's the difference between when you're talking to someone and you feel like they're asking you questions but they don't actually care versus you're talking to someone and they feel like they're really there with you. So use this process next time you feel invisible in a social situation and observe how, first of all, your internal feeling changes without the external needing to change. And secondly, how over time people become more interested in you. If you enjoy this and you want to learn how to start up a conversation with people you're interested in, check out this video where I cover my system to talk to anyone, anywhere, anytime. I'll see you in the next one.